really quick, uh, I wanted to give you guys a general update on some shit I've been doing uh, on my various vehicles. Uh, but uh, really, right now, I'll just show you the yellow truck. Now, I've done a lot of stuff to it in the last two weeks. And uh, first thing, I uh, put a new clutch and flywheel and all that shit. Because the flywheel was totally screwed and I just put another fly, I just put another clutch on a destroyed flywheel about two years ago. Finally got a new flywheel on it and now that's all nice. But uh, soon after that, it just started to run like crap and started just falling on its face uh, any meaningful throttle position. So I just said screw it. I had some people tell me that it could be friggin' blown head gasket between the two cylinders. Well... So, I fucking pulled the damn thing apart, and I'll show you what I found. Now, head gasket, by some miracle, with all the times I fucking over had ran this thing with like no coolant and shit, is somehow not blown. Head's not warped, nothing like that, block's fine, everything's fine, it's not blown or anything at, at all. I mean, I had always suspected it was because there was some reason there was like pressure in the cooling system, I don't know. It was a bit, but yeah, it's not blown or anything. I could almost reuse this, but there's no way I would. Um, but I did find out why this thing has always ran like absolute dog shit. That's, uh, this exhaust, we got a few exhaust valves that are pretty, uh, pretty pitted. And I'd almost call this one burned. Thing is, when I first bought the truck, I had a blown out exhaust manifold gasket for these two cylinders on the port on it for these two cylinders, and there's fucking, it was a fire hazard. There's freaking shit blown out everywhere. And, uh, so I, uh, did, uh, I replaced it. Ran a bit better, but not that good, and I always popped out the exhaust, shit like that. But, uh, these two cylinders, you could tell the difference. They're pretty bad, so you might think I'm going to go resurface this, maybe get new valves, shit like that. Uh, no, I'm just going to swap the head, because I already have this one that's like really, really nice off that 194. I'm going to get higher compression even. And uh, I've checked all the valves, nothing stuck, nothing, they all look, I don't, I'm not even going to lap these, because they seem to be in really good shape. I think this had a valve job done before I fucking bought the damn thing. So... I'm gonna go stick that, I'm gonna stick this head on, get a new gasket, all that shit. Um, I, when I stick the, I'm gonna take the old head, put it on the 194 so I can sell them. I think I'm just gonna use that gasket, the fuck, because, you know, if my, either I'm gonna sell it or I'll just keep it as a backup engine. So, instead of paying 30, 40 bucks for another gasket, I'll just fucking take this cocksucker. And if I get another manifold at some point, I'll reuse this gasket because this one's, I replaced it, it's in good shape. I already bought another gasket for that, so, yeah, so that's all going to be nice. Now, when I was looking down in here, um, obviously there's no cross hatching left, but really not that worn out. There's a little bit of a lip, but not that much. Um, so that is nice, but I, I know the rings are worn, not just because of the no cross hatching, but also, uh, well, when I pulled the head off, there's coolant in the head, and that got all in the cylinders. I left it for a day. Yeah, the coolant's gone. It's now in the oil because it all leaked through. So I'm going to have to change the oil too, but yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to change the oil, do all that shit, put the whole shit bang back together, and that should be all nice. And this thing will probably run like a dream. I don't even think I need to resurface this head. I've just cleaned it up. And I think that'll seal up just fine. Yeah. Um, that's it for the yellow truck. So thank you guys for watching.